Hey families, it's Miss P here with our last small group activity for the school year. Parents, today we are going to be making flamingos. I brought my flamingo friends here to help us with this activity. This here is Joe and this is Barry. Say hi to Joe and Barry guys. All right, for today's flamingo activity, all you will need is I'm using hot pink Simply washable tempura paint and a white piece of paper, your hand. And parents, I always offer the kids other art supplies during our art activity so that they can explore and, you know, have the choice to do what they want throughout the activity. That's why everybody's uh, art things always look different and unique because the children have the choice. Now I'm gonna show them the way to make it and then I'm gonna also offer the other art materials for them to do different things. All right, so parents, we are aiming for a level four. We want the child to create a simple representation with few details. And we are also aiming for a level five. We want the child to create a complex representation with many details. All right, so some children are gonna follow exactly the, you know, when I model it, they are gonna do exactly what I showed them. Other children are gonna add more details. You know, throughout this activity, it's gonna be a lot of conversation because we're gonna learn some new things about flamingos. And through that conversation, it'll spark interest and it'll spark different things inside of children that they'll begin to draw other things, you know, in their pictures. If we start talking about the habitat, some children will draw, draw ponds or the sun, you know, inside of their representation. So remember parents, conversation is key. We're aiming for level four and five in creative arts. We have Joe and we have Barry here to help us and let's get right into it. Let's talk about flamingos. Flamingos have a funny way of eating. They place their bills upside down in the water and suck water into their mouths. Then they pump water out the sides of their mouths. Teeny plants and animals remain to make a tasty meal. Flamingos prefer to stand on one foot. Did you know that? Can you stand on one foot? Flamingos look big, but they only weigh about five or six pounds. Wow, that's really small, guys. Did you know that flamingos can live for 30 to 50 years? We could see a 50-year-old flamingo. Wow. Flamingos, they make their nest near mud. They usually lay only one egg. Both parents take care of the egg, which hatches after 30 days. So guys, human beings, people, they carry babies for nine months. But a flamingo only carries their baby for one month. All right? Baby flamingos, they stay in the nest for a few weeks. Then they gather with other young flamingos. And they have a little baby flamingo party. Like a coming out party. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. Hi, what's going on back there with you guys? Hey, Joe. Hey, Barry. Look at that flamingo looking good. Did you guys know that flamingos are very social birds? They gather in big groups and do almost everything together. We hope those flamingos are practicing social distancing. Also, flamingos, they can literally run on water to gain speed before they take off. And that thing I told you about flamingos liking to stand on one foot, they can even sleep in this position. Could you imagine standing up on one foot sleep? Flamingos are pink because their food contains an organic chemical called better 
carotene that you can also find in carrots. Did you know that Flamingo Day is May the 29th? And on that day, we can celebrate the famous pink bird. Forget the plastic ones you find on people's lawns. Real flamingos are one of the most interesting birds in the sky and on the ground. And I hope that Miss P has shared an uh, assortment of fun facts that you guys can, you know, learn and appreciate. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I'll see you next time.